Hello, and welcome to this guide in the use of sandbags to help reduce the impact of flooding on your home. In this video, you will see what types of sandbags are used, when to use them, how to fill them, how to correctly lay them safely, and how to dispose of them after use. The techniques shown in this video are designed for houses built on concrete slabs. Floodwater can contain many hidden dangers, such as raw sewage, trees, chemical waste, and deadly debris. Even shallow water can move quickly enough to knock you off your feet. Always keep yourself safe around flood water. So why sandbag? Placing sandbags in appropriate locations around your home may reduce the impact of flooding. Sandbags will not stop the water completely, but can reduce the amount of water entering the home. They can also be used to block inside drains, like toilet bowls and shower bases. You are best placed to decide when there is a need to sandbag the home. This is based on local knowledge and past flood events. Weather warnings may alert you to the need to begin sandbagging. The SES will release community information for flooding. Sandbags are generally made from hessian fabric, and are the type the SES recommend for use. Only use sand to fill the bags. It is recommended not to use soil as it does not create the same seal as sand. Sandbags should only be filled to two-thirds full. Do not overfill as they will be too heavy to carry. A filled sandbag can weigh 15 to 20 kilograms. The top of the bag can be tied for transport but will need to be untied before laying. Use two people, one to hold and one to shovel. When shoveling, position the bag and yourself to avoid twisting and potential back injury. You can use a plastic flower pot with the bottom removed to create a funnel. Filling sandbags is an exhausting activity. It is recommended that you take plenty of breaks and keep your fluids up. Empty hessian bags can generally be purchased from a local hardware or garden supply store. During times of flood, sandbag distribution points may be established in flood affected areas. When significant flooding is occurring, sandbags may be in limited supply and may be issued on a case-by-case -case basis. The SES does not routinely provide sandbags to householders. Most homes can be protected with less than 25 sandbags. So as a precaution, the SES suggests that you have sandbags stored at home available for use at any time. Sandbags are laid like brickwork. Start at one end and work to the other end. Ensure the unfilled part of the bag is covered by the next bag. Tuck flap under the bag at the end of the row and stagger rows so that the joins do not line up. Flattening the top of the sandbag row before adding the next row will help the structure. Place a small sandbag wall across doorways. Stack them at least two sandbags high. Additional layers may be needed depending on the expected flood height. If available, Plastic sheeting may be used under the sandbags to reduce the seepage of water through the sandbags. Make sure you have at least one doorway in which you can use to access the house. For outwards facing doors, this can be done by building a wall in a semicircle to still allow the door to be opened. The same method is used when protecting garages and sliding doors, but these will require additional sandbags and may require several layers. Use duct tape to secure plastic to the doors. Cover drainage holes in the home. For example, shower, bath, floor drains and toilets to stop the backflow of contaminated water. Air vents in brickwork will also require sandbags. Sandbags that have been exposed to flood water need to be disposed of safely. Care should be taken when handling wet sandbags. Sturdy gloves should be worn as flood water can contain chemicals, harmful waste and contaminants. Sandbags should not be reused if they have been in contact with flood water. Contact your local council about how to dispose of sandbags. So a few things to remember. Always make safety your priority. The SES recommends use of hessian sandbags. You should have at least 25 sandbags available at all times in flood prone areas. You can purchase sandbags from your local hardware or garden supply stores. Lay sandbags like brickwork. 
Keep monitoring sandbags during flooding if safe to do so. And dispose of used sandbags responsibly. As a last resort, if sandbags are not available, you can use plastic shopping bags for smaller jobs. But sandbags are really the best method to prevent water entering your home. More details on sandbagging and other storm flood information can be found on the SES website at www.ses.vic.gov.au. For flood and storm emergencies, call the SES on 132 500.